on that. Adesha versus then, both men in their mid-20s. It'll be then with a slight inch and a half reach advantage. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout three three-minute rounds for the ISKA US Super Lightweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, this mixed martial artist trained in Muay Thai has a young, perfect professional record of two wins and no losses. At five feet, six inches tall, 1.68 meters, he weighed in at 135.4 pounds, 61.4 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Dominican Republic. Here is Jeffrey Ted. His opponent standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner brings a record of 13 wins with three losses. Five of those career wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, five inches tall, 1.65 meters. He weighed in at 135.6 pounds, 61.5 kilos. Fighting out of the United States, ladies and gentlemen, Zarouk the Pitbull Adashev. And once again, your referee is Chris Wagner. All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions in the dress room on a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain there until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch them all. Saruk Adashev and Jeffrey Thin. Fight! Both men seemingly chomping at the bit to get after each other. Here we go. Scheduled for three rounds at 135 pounds. And both guys are going to be pressure fighters. Ten talks about his hands being one of his best weapons. Whereas Zaruk Adeshev, you're going to see him mix stances a lot. He likes to come forward. Both guys have that KO mentality built in. Zaruk Adeshev in the white gloves. Jeffrey Thin. Oh, it slipped there. Slip, slip. Jeffrey then representing Dominican Republic, but currently what? fighting out of Danbury, Connecticut. I would imagine he's crossed paths with UFC fighter Glover Teixeira, who also fights out of Danbury. Stop! Beginning Don't of a big turn. night for us here. Fight. Glory 55, New York. This is the second of three prelims. Hope you're enjoying on either our Glory YouTube page or Facebook page. Adeshev caught him with a right coming in. Getting a little wild here. Yeah, they're mid-range fighting right now. Very dangerous. I like the way Adeshev's coming over with his punches. He's woken 10 up. I mean, both pressure fighters liking their boxing over their low kicks. Have we seen a low kick yet? Maybe one mixed in. There's Adeshev mixing in a knee. Adeshev says he loves to press the fight. Work both sides, left and right. Yeah, you see it outside of his circle. He creates his space, and then he kind of moves circular, laterally, and then he comes in with a different stance. So, for 10, he has no idea what stance Adeshev's coming into. It takes many years of training to develop both sides equally like that. Stop, break! Watch your head. Fight! Stop holding, stop holding, fight out! Again, born in the Bronx, just got caught with a couple shots and eats a right hand, and now he's on the back foot. Yeah, Look that's the first time he took a step back. Seems like he only knows one way going forward. Looks very uncomfortable going back. Now he's trying to mix in some kicks, maybe faint with the kick and then come with the hands. Oh, nice spinning high kick, and the left hook puts him down. Two, Jeffrey three, Van flat on his four. back. Yeah, and he Five, just put his head off center six, line and threw that overhand seven. left. And it's over. It is over. Chris Wagner, the referee, does not give him the full 10 count and stops this contest. What a knockout win on a big stage for Zaruk Adeshev. Yeah, you couldn't set up that finish any better with that spinning hook kick. Here it is. He comes around perfectly timed right around the defense. Just enough to clip, take his equilibrium off, and then here's this overhand left. Dips his head off to the side, and click, click, boom. Right on the jaw, the pit bull strikes.
at Madison Square Garden. A highlight reel knockout. Here's another look at that sequence. Yeah, just spin, and I just love how he came over with that overhand left. Put all his weight behind it, his shoulder, his legs. That's how you put power behind all your punches.